Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So, um, no, I don't have no makeup on. And yes, this is the shirt I wore to school today. I know it's a see-through, but I wore like a sweater over it, so I did not get caught. But you know. Anyway, I changed and everything and took my makeup off because I have a humongous headache. Like, it's like, boop, boop, boop. And I'm like, oh my god. But I'm not gonna go sleep because Adam's here and I don't wanna... You know, take his time off from my headache. So I made me a cup of coffee. Hopefully the caffeine will kill it. But anyway, this is going to be a video and I'm going to show you what my what's in my 8A book bag. So this is going to be... What's in my 8A book bag. Like I told you previous in previous videos, my school has A days and B days, but since today was an A day, I thought it was B a B day because we ended on a A day. No, 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 we ended on a B day. So yeah, since today is A day, um, I'm gonna show you what's in my A day book bag, and then tomorrow or Thursday, tomorrow either tomorrow or Friday, I will show you what's in my B day book bag. So yeah, I want to do a little disclaimer. A little disclaimer or a little reminder, whatever you guys want to call it. The, there's some stuff that's in my A-Day book bag that does go in my B-Day book bag. I'm not going to tell you what because you guys will see tomorrow or whenever I do a B-Day book bag. So, yes. So, this is my A-Day book bag because you always got to start off the week with a positive vibe. So, I have the bright color and beautiful book bag. Then is okay. The other at the other end of my book bed, there's the black book bag with a little silver thing I got from Dollar Tree. If you guys didn't watch that haul, then I don't know. But yeah, this is my A Day book bag, bright, beautiful, colorful, blue and green. And then there is some black here, but think positive colors. I'm busy. So yeah, I really like the decorative of it and everything. So yeah. My B-Day book bag is just a plain book bag, even though my B-Days are funner than my A-Days. But, you know what? It's, it's, it's whatever. So, in here we have these pack of markers that sadly have never, have, haven't been opened yet. But, it's like the like second week of school, so, yeah. So it's like purple, blue, green, pink, I mean, yeah, pink, orange, and yellow. If I don't use these this year, then I'm just going to put them in my room because sometimes I do do artsy stuff and I don't have markers on me. So I have to use Sharpies, which is really annoying sometimes. So, yeah. Then we have colored pencils. 12 non-toxic pencils. These are colored pencils. Um, one time up in my, like, in here, like, in my bedroom on my desk, I have... 24 colored pencils so it's like every shade that's possibly made i guess but these are the 12 because you don't really use colored pencils in school but when you need to they're there and then you can't forget some sticky no um, some not sticky notes these are post-it notes so yeah but um i'm planning on next time i get money i'm planning on i think i do have a dollar in change so i'm planning on seeing if the dollar tree has like colorful ones because i like using the colorful ones for like studying and stuff like that so yeah. these are what's in there and adam's here stop there's i think that coffee uh did you over a little bit didn't it no adam burned his mouth on the coffee he went like this and was like how many people actually watch your videos? I mean, I can tell you, there's one video that has like 30 views. Your very first video, right? No, my very first video on my other channel has like 117 views. I don't know how. But this channel is like, well, I'm still so going to keep going. Now go, She's lit. Now go get, go get your cheese steak. He's eating my other half of my cheese steak from the other day. So, this is what's in my B-Day book bag. Yes, I'm going to go through all the binders. May I remind you, I have four classes on B-Days. And then, I have last lunch of the day. And I'm starving. So, I'm thinking about this weekend going to the store and getting snacks. Or just, like, snacks from me. Well, you got to get some for my siblings, too. But just, like, snacks for school that I can take one with me and like eat it in a class that I know I can eat it because it's just embarrassing how I have to wait like several hours to eat several hours I don't know 
So we're gonna go on this thing. So yes, yeah, I have some of this stuff you will be seeing to, in the V Day book bag because I do like go back. I'm doing something, siblings, people. So this is the pencil pouch I have. Um, I did say um, I was gonna have two pencil pouches for each, so I didn't have to like take it out, take it out, put it in, put it out, and all that. But it's whatever. I have one pencil pouch, and this is a green one. I don't like the color of it, but it is what it is. Sometimes you can't get what you want; you have to do what you need. So yes. So basically, in here you have like sticky, like little miniature sticky notes. You have highlighters, pencil sharpeners um pens like regular pencils and there's decorative pencils in here and then these um pencils right here i have a, i had a red one i don't know where my red one went i just had it like the other day i think it's in that book bag in there but this is the pencils i've been using right now i did have a couple of these and then i have one in here because that's the one i use at home when I do homework, and yes, I do have homework for world history, which is my last class, which is a book. So yeah, there's also like big erasers in here, and pencil top erasers, and just a whole bunch of other stuff, and some like those little like retain retainment paper holes things where if like your paper is like ripped from the binder or something, you can put the thing in there on both sides. I do it on both sides. Some people do it on just one, but I put it on both sides so that it'll stick better. And then I have some other sticky notes in here. So yeah. This is my planner. I'm not going to show you what school I go to, so I'm crossing it off. But if you know what this symbol stands for, then you're a genius. <laughs> so this is uh, my planner for, um, this is the school's planner, actually. This isn't my planner. This is the school's planner. But what's really awesome is on the back, there's like a cool decorative thing back here. Like it says, bright, smart, brave, um, brains, say no, be anti-drug strong healthy control make good choices choose the life you want to live so i thought this was really really cute and i was thinking myself to put like a piece of paper here and like draw it myself and like yeah i was gonna do that but i love how they have this it's so cute i'm gonna cover this on here even though it doesn't say the school i'm just gonna cover all fml info as much as i can but i really do like this design down here it's really really cute and it's pretty and this is like a little guide to you guys that you guys should follow because it, it's it's what you need so pretty much in this thing you have it tells you the school title which i'm not going to show this is our little like thing right here so if you know what this symbol stands for then you rock it says agenda book 2017 to 2018 and if you do not know, I am in the ninth grade. I am a freshman this year, which is weird. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> when I first open it up, you see the symbol again. And then it has my school and then the gen book and the same, pretty much the same thing on the first page. And then this page is blank. And then this is my schedule for A day and this is my schedule for B day. I have it here because I lost my actual schedule. Like, I don't know where it went. So, I'm glad I wrote that down. So, since we're doing A day today, I'm going to tell you all my classes. So, for first period, I have human growth and development. If you don't know what that is, um, it's pretty much where you learn about your, like, system, your bodies and all that, which I actually can't wait to, like, you know, can't wait to, like, like, I don't know how to, like, say it. I can't wait to actually, like, go into it and, like, see how everything is, like, formed and everything. And then period two, I have Math 180 slash Algebra 1. So pretty much that for the first semester, which is my credit one and two, I have Math 180. It's a system that helps build up your, like, Lexile score and everything. And then you, like, do three rotations. And since almost pretty much each class is, like, 90 minutes, there's third period class is, like, 100 and, like, 30 minutes, like, three minutes, something like that. It's, like, pretty, like, outrageous. Like, that's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, and then my period three and four, so when we come back from Christmas break, we go, we have like a week and then we're like right into like the third mark period. So, um, there we take over algebra one. The fourth mark period is the longest mark period ever. It's like legitimately like nine weeks. Every other, every like, mark period one is the smallest. It's like four and a half weeks, I believe. And then mark period three, two and three are the exact same mark periods, like the exact same weeks. So like, 
eight and a half, like nine, something like that. So yeah, we go to school 180 days a, a year. It's like school days, not weekends or counting the things or counting the days we have off. Pretty pretty. Pretty pretty cool. What? Sorry about that. I don't know who's gonna do that. But anyway, yeah. And then third period, I have um physical science. We haven't really got to do anything yet in that class. Pretty much all the other classes I have, we've gotten to do something in it. I mean, we've done work and like they've graded. But physical science is pretty much you learn about sciencey stuff and like we'll do labs like yeah. coin labs and fun labs and awesome labs and stuff like that. So yeah. And then I have fourth lunch on eight days. It it sucks. Stop. You're a weird cause it? Adam, seriously. Oh, did I mess up your video? I'm about to mess up your brain. It's such a good video. Quality, you know why? Go eat your cheesesteak. <laughs> it's gone. No, it's not. I ate it. Let me smell your breath. I'm gonna eat Nutella. Mmm. I'm gonna go. What's this? No, not watch anything. Adam, stop. Stop. Man, he's annoying. And then for A4, which is period four, I have world history. So, yeah. So, we're going to get into the bag now. Sorry about all the interruptions. I know my family. Interruptions. So, yeah. This is all my school stuff right here, and I prefer one-inch binders. I understand it's high school and you're getting a lot of papers, but I prefer one-inch binders because they're lighter to carry than what, like, two-inch or three-inch or five-inch would be. I don't know if they make four inches, but yeah. So this is my human growth and development. Um, I didn't need a binder for that class. She said we could use a binder and, like, put paper in it, but I thought a notebook would be easier and a lot better because it's, like, good and this is my yellow one remember i showed you guys this this was the one subject but i had like 200 pages in it so for me to be in human growth development and i believe you take a lot of notes in there i believe that this would be better than yeah so it's like written there's like nothing on here the human growth development is on this flap right here because i'd rather have it written on the inside and have this because i like to doodle a lot in class so say one day we're taking a test and i'm done and i have nothing to do and when you take tests like any kind of test at over high you cannot be on your phones during the test or after the test then i could take it something out and like doodle on here and i love to write like my name like in doodles and all that and stuff like yeah and then this is the like first paper in here and then we've taken our notes so yeah this is what's that's one then my next, um, you're probably thinking, whoa, that's a lot of stuff for your period two. Yes, my period two is Algebra 1 and Math 180. But like I said, I'm doing Math 180 right now. So, um, we have to have two books in class. We have to have, we have to keep one book in class and then we have to keep one book out of class. But I have the folder because if she gives us any work or something like that, I could just put it in here. Like warms up and stuff like that i could i have already warmed up in here she's already graded some papers and everything so yeah and i will be checking homework home um my home access center so i can see what kind of grades i already have and everything so yeah so yes this is the folder and yeah, i chose this one because it's pretty decorative and everything and i like it so i think there's one who has the follow your green ones already so yeah and then these are the two books so I was thinking this is a hard decision and you guys know I love blue and Adam loves purple. So I thought that I would keep the blue one and I know that's pretty obsessive for what I'm saying but I'm going to keep the blue one in class and keep this one out of class because I love Adam more than I love blue. So yeah. These things can come off actually so let me just take these off real quick so I can have like, like see like that's so much better. So, yeah, this one's going to be in class and this one's going to be out of class. So, that's what I have for period two. Period three, I don't really like my period three class because there's no one really in there that I can associate with. There's just this girl named Lexi, but me and her aren't really that cool. We're not really that cool anymore because I've heard stuff about her all summer and I don't really want to, like, fart with her anymore because I don't want to get in any drama. 
for this year and years to come because drama is nothing. It's like a waste of your time, especially when you're in high school. High school is a serious thing for me, and I don't want drama to get into that because, yeah, so. Yeah. So this is my physical science minder. This is the longest class ever. I dread this class to go here every day, but I love the teacher. Third period's always the longest. Even though I hate read one, I feel, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I swear, he's so weird. You're like the weirdest person I know right now. You know that? I know that. weird. But yeah, this is my physical science minder, and it's just like a heart with like love on it, and then so is it. <laughs> and then, That's a joke. this thing right here, you know what else is a joke? My life. And then, no. And then it's also down the, like, right here. But yeah, I dread going to this class. But she enjoyed it's like it. 103 minutes of this class. There is not 103. Yes, there is, Adam. Third period each day is 103 minutes. No, it's not. You're just... Yes, it is. You're no, I'll prove it. No, I'm going to prove it to him later. And then when I do B-Day book bag, I'm going to be like, I proved it to Adam, and he's salty because it's 103 minutes. 103. A freaking... Yes! And it could have set her up. Yeah, stupid. No, it's Center not. Center up's not in the class. Center her up is its own class. But it's with your second period teacher. Boy, get out of here. I know more about the overfire than you do. Get out of my face. <laughs> Whatever. And then the last class of the no. day. <laughs> the last video class. sucks. <laughs> okay. So the last class, can you turn that down? No, we need audio because you want to you wanna say I. Would you just shut up? And the last class of the day is world history. This is my world history binder. It's probably the thickest binder I have, I believe. Maybe not. I don't know. But um, I chose this one because it's the end of the day. And when you look at the pretty colors on the binder, you'll say, whoop, I need to cheer up and get my work done. So, yeah. So we didn't really do that, but we did a lot today, to be honest. We did notes. This is my homework right here. This really sucks. Homework? Seriously? Really? Yeah. Homework? So yeah, no. this is my world history. I have tabs and everything. I have my book. Oh, this is what I did for homework over the weekend. For world history. For homework over the weekend, yes. So yeah, I just <sighs> did my name, and then I did like stuff, and Where'd yeah. Where'd you put my earbook? That'd be cute, in your book bag. So yeah, this is my world history. So that is my A-Day classes. Other than having lunch, I have lunch on regular scheduled days. I have it from 12.20 to 12.50. I have it on 12.34. I thought he had third lunch. I feel like you said you had third lunch. No, I don't go to lunch. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. And sorry about the interruptions by your truly but surely not forgotten Adam I don't forget you guys I don't forget you but anyway sorry about the all the interruptions by him but I think mean, he's like really acting silly I don't know why I think it's to get rid of his headache I don't know is that why you're acting silly to get rid of your headache yeah, yeah. But yeah, those are all my classes, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys definitely comment and like it up, and definitely, but absolutely subscribe, because why not subscribe? But yeah, stay tuned for um, B-Day Book Bag. Like I said, there are some similarities in there, because it's school, and you gotta have similarities, similarities in there, so... So, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a lovely evening and lovely night, and make sure you guys study hard in school, because, especially in your high school, especially if you're in college, like, you gotta teeth into that. But, I thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!